take it out of the solution that it's in. And so that solution is there to help like calibrate it. So that solution is going to be about pH of four. So once you take it out, you're gonna to want to rinse it off with your distilled water. So that way you're not contaminating the solution that you're going to be using. So once you get that rinsed off well, I just set it in a beaker so that way it stays up and it's not touching anything, getting dirty or anything like that. And then this just plugs into your lab quest. And then once it is on, it'll just tell you what the pH is. Okay. You will want lab goggles with this since we are messing with acids and bases. Careful with it touching your skin because it can cause chemical burns. All right, so in here I have my hydrochloric acid, and here's my sodium hydroxide. They are labeled with tape up on the top. Um, it'll be opposite when you guys are using yours up at the lab. So you'll start with your Erlenmeyer flask. What you're going to want to first put in is 10 milliliters of your hydrochloric acid. So when you fill this up with your hydrochloric acid, and same thing with your sodium hydroxide, you're putting on the top, make sure that this is closed, after it is in there, you're going to want to um, just let it a little bit run out to get any air bubbles out, so that way this is the correct amount. I used this earlier, so those are already out. Um, and then you will not want to fill it all the way up to the zero. So you're going to fill it depending on how much you need. The, since we only need 10, if I fill it up to about like the 20 or 30, it'll be fine. Um, so here I have it at the... 26.68. Okay, so then from there I'm going to do about approximately 10 milliliters. So then I'm going to be going to 36.68. mark how much you had and then you're going to measure your pH from there so this is about 0.66 great and you remove your probe then you're adding um, 100 milliliters of water so when you add in the water, you're going to take the pH again. Technically, it should not change the pH level, but for some reason on here it is. When it is water, all that it is is your um, hydroxide and your hydrogen atoms are neutralizing each other, so it shouldn't change it, but we are getting a change. But not a significant one. It's yeah, still... No. So it is about 1.3, right? And you guys will be marking down each time you take the pH, right? And then we are adding an indicator. So we talked about the um, thing that makes it a pretty pink color once you add in the base. So this is phenolphthalein, just a couple drops of this. And then you want to take the pH again just to show that it did not change your pH on there. So I'm getting about the same thing again. So I mark my pH. So now I'm adding in my base. So sodium hydroxide, you're going to add in a total of 15 milliliters, but you are only doing one milliliter at a time. So once you fill it up, you're going to write down whatever that amount is. So mine is about... 
So you want to record that, and then you are just adding in one milliliter at a time. And then you're checking your pH each time you do So it'll turn pink, mix it around, it should disappear. Since it is still more acidic, you take your pH. So this is at 1.47. I write that down. Then I'm adding another milliliter. So I should get another jump in my pH. So I'm at 1.51. Okay, so you will just continue to add a milliliter at a time until you've added 15 milliliters. And from the math we just did, you know that it should take 10 milliliters, right? So when you get to 10, you wanna really be watching what color pink are you looking for for the equivalence point, okay? Because next week you're going to be doing the titrations and you're not gonna know how much of that sodium hydroxide to put in. So you're looking for a particular end point color, okay? That's what you're gonna be looking for. Yes, so this is 1.61. So I've added in three, I just kind of show you when that color changes, I'm gonna add in seven now. So you guys will still do just the one milliliter at a time. So once you get that close where it took a while for you to swish it around for that pink to disappear, then you want to just add like a drop at a time. Okay, you have to be very, you cannot be impatient with this. This takes lots of patience here. So this is 6.03. you're looking for is just when it will, that pink color does not quite disappear. So really close. You can tell it takes longer for it to disappear so you know you're getting 